Tony D and Little Joan with a screenwriter's rant on Creepy Crawly, a uh, Thai horror film that takes place, I think, during the pandemic. Everybody's wearing masks. And uh, where people are trapped in the hotel, but there's something worse than the pandemic. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's the Pineys, books 1 through 12, available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. So there are these bugs that are infesting the hotel and then infesting the people. And one by one, they're, they're becoming infected and they're turning on each other and nobody knows who's to blame. Possibly that guy, that tall guy. That guy right there. He looks suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> Trust no one. Uh, it's a little hard to discern the actual details of this thing other than the monster and the fact they're trapped in a hotel during the pandemic. But I do like the use of the pandemic in this. Sounds like it can work. Here's a scene where they're trying to get down the hallway and it's full of creepy crawlers and they're trying to push them out of the way so they don't touch them. And uh, everybody's a little bloody and... Uh, comes out on October 3rd, so just in time for Halloween. Own it on Blu-ray and DVD. This movie may have come out earlier. I couldn't find it on the IMDb, or I'm not sure which creepy crawly it is. Um, so, I'm not sure. But it looks interesting. It, it reminds me of a few different movies they made back in the 80s. Critters. And there was another one with little like worm-like creatures. I, I forget what it was called. But uh, this is a Thai movie, so it's probably got a little bit of different sensibility. Um, so first act, if I had to guess, and I'm really kind of guessing here because it's kind of hard to tell. There's a pandemic. Everybody's locked down in a hotel. There's like another outbreak of, you know. And um, so everybody's masked up and they're being tested. And But some, some people break quarantine to walk around because they're just bored and they're sick of all this. Uh, so I like that part of it. And they discover a body in the stairwell. I know, Joan, it's very scary. Oh, sorry. They discover a body in the stairwell and it's all, like all the skin's gone or something. You all right? And then, um, so from that point on, you got the second act, there's something in the hotel, there are these bugs and they're getting bigger and bigger and more deadly. People are trying to get out of the hotel, but every time they try to leave, they're stopped by the authorities or the bugs in some way. They get more and more, they start killing people and infecting people, and eventually they get so big, they're like bursting out of people and, and killing them. Like there's a scene where there's a guy in a hazmat suit, and it's like his whole face is just the bug coming out of his skull. It's pretty cool looking. Um, and... You know, it's a foreign movie, so it's a little, a little tough to judge what the ending could be. It could end very dark, everybody dies. Or it could end with a couple of the protagonists and his girl escaping. Or maybe they escape, but they do the, uh, oh no, you're infected, no, kind of thing. So it can kind of go a bunch of different places. But I kind of like these movies. I, I would give it a chance. Uh, all right, so here's the write-up. While quarantining at a Thailand hotel, guests began disappearing with no explanation from staff, leaving the group, I assume the main characters, to wonder whether there may be some truth to the local urban legend about a terrifying creature rumored to possess its victims. Oh, so there's some, some urban legend mixed in this. Interesting. Um, Creepy Crawly sounds like a very American name. So I suspect they they had a completely different title for this film. And I think it might be the 2019 one, but I, I kind of couldn't tell on the IMDb. Not a lot of data here. But that being said, would I watch it? Yeah, I, I, I might see it. I like a good monster movie now and again. And I like the pandemic an angle. Seems like it could work. It gives you a reason to keep everybody trapped in the hotel. And uh, so it's all very plausible in the modern day as opposed to a storm or, I don't know, some other made-up reason. Um, yeah, so I, I'd give this a chance. I mean, it looks okay. I think the only downside, again, it's subtitled, so it's going to be 
harder to file, follow the details. And there's going to be a few details in this that are going to probably pass you by unless you're stopping and starting a movie to see what the hell happened. But, um, yeah, I, I think this could work. I think this could work. It's called Creepy Crawly, and it's going to have a lot of bugs in it. So if you don't like bugs, I don't know what to tell you. And that's it for me, Tony T and Little Joan. Check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble for our more base takes. you got to check us out on those other channels. you got to. Uh, all right, I'm going to start loading up videos. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'll be at the Shemung Diner on Saturday from 9 to 2. Otherwise, we'll see you.